What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is these 15 maps hilariously explain the United States of America. Which would be interesting, I'm not interesting. sure what to expect. Me neither, hilariously explain. Mm. So I don't know what these maps are going to say, but smash that button anyway guys, smash that subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. We are bashing out the videos before we go away so you enjoy them. Yep. Check out Patreon as well. I'm not sure when this is going out, but I can tell you from the 3rd of April to the 9th of April, there'll be a video every single day on Patreon and it'll be 48, 48 hour early yeah. access. And it will just help us out. But just watching the video is honestly enough subscribing and all that good stuff. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's check out these 15 maps that hilariously explain the United States. What we got? Let's go. Apps. They're very good at helping to understand a place, aren't they? You can look at a map of the United States, but it isn't really helpful in understanding what it's really like in each state. We need to look at different maps to see what it's really like in the okay. United States, right? So we're going to look at a bunch of different maps to really explain what this country's like. Okay. There are hilarious maps that explain America with additional insights. Maps! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's a great guy, but he's just said hilarious maps like in the most monotone thing. Yeah. Like not excited about all. But I'm this is the guy who did the um, little maps, wasn't it, when we did the video not long yeah. ago? And then maps were talking so far. Mm. So he definitely does have a fun yeah. side to him. Maps! 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 About America. That's that's more like it. Ah, here we are in the state of Wisconsin. Now, if you know anything about American culture, you know there's a stereotype that people in this part of the country drink a lot of booze. Okay. We're going to begin with a look at a map which shows if this is true or not. Check this out. Oh. This map shows where there's more bars or grocery stores wow. in the U.S., depending on where mm. you live. The red dots are areas where there's more bars than grocery stores. The yellow dots show where there's more grocery stores than bars. And look at that. Oh. Wisconsin, North Dakota... Montana, Wyoming, and Illinois have more bars than grocery stores. That's a lot of bars in upstate cool. New York. Look at the deep south. Hardly any bars, just all grocery stores. Mm. That goes along with the theory that it's deeply religious in the deep south. But there's not as many bars. Okay, cool, makes huh? sense. Let's yeah. look at another one, shall we? Meth labs per county. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from this county over here. Like wow. the biggest oh, meth boy. lab square in the country. Look at all those meth labs. I'm assuming, I'm so I mean, it's just a thing as a legal meth lab? Well, I'm guessing they're legal. There must be. I, I don't know what a legal meth lab is. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? <laughs> There's a bunch on the West Coast. That makes sense. I think meth labs were invented in Oregon or California. Out there somewhere. But a lot of them look like they're in the middle of the country, surrounding St. Louis. Okay. Why are they all right there? Well, in Missouri, there's a saying. Minding one's own business often goes with the territory. There's a lot of poverty in Missouri, and some people make meth as a way to supplement their income mm -hmm. or as a performance enhancer. It's all very sad and very scary. If you live in a meth lab county, comment. Let us know what's up. The thing is, I swear, that? like, that's illegal. Probably is. But how do they have they got a graph of knowing where it is? Do you know what I mean? Like, because if they've got nowhere the labs are, they'd surely shut them down. I don't know. Or do you think it's just a guess? Maybe it's that just much a guess. meth there. must be. Guess. Yeah, let us know in the comments on that one because I swear it's illegal. <laughs> it shows where all the different races in America are. The green is Hispanic and the orange is black folks. The light blue are Native Americans. The dark blue is where Asians are, like here in San Francisco. Okay. The white areas are where it's mostly white. And as you can see, it's a very divided country. A lot of us live in regions that are similar to us racially. New Mexico has the nation's highest Hispanic population as mm -hmm. a percentage. It makes of its sense. Population. It's next to Mexico, yeah. isn't it? Forty-eight percent of New Mexico is Hispanic. Alternatively, Mississippi is thirty-seven percent African American, making it the state with the highest percentage of Black residents. Mm -hmm. Up here in Vermont, it's 94% white. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh my God. Here's a map that shows the mad, highest paid public employees. Football in coaches, state. wow. Almost every single one's a football or basketball coach at some big college. Bad play. That's just yeah. sad. In New Hampshire, it's a hockey It coach. may be sad, but maybe one day I will go and over. And what if soccer coaches start getting it paid all that? It kind of is sad when you think about like doctors and things I like that. It, it kind of is sad thinking that a football coach is getting paid more than somebody that's saving lives. It is Definitely. kind of sad when you put it like that. No, I didn't mean, but that's where the money's in it, isn't it? People are watching it, people, the money's going in. Get your team to perform well, that's where the money It'd is. It'd be nice if we could push up some of the other. Definitely, but if soccer coaches end up shooting up there, sign me up, I'm coming over, I've been a soccer coach. Or a football coach. Well, I'll call it soccer for you guys if you're going to be the highest paid in the state. I'll happily do that. <laughs> How much does a hockey coach make in New Hampshire, you might ask? 
At the time, it was a guy named Dick Umali who got paid two hundred and forty-two thousand wow. a year in 2014. Wow. The president of the school only made three hundred eighty-five k. So Dick must have been a good coach. And going back to 1990, he never won a national title in 28 seasons. Damn, son. Wow. This map shows that more people search for lesbian porn in Arkansas than in any other state. <laughs> That's weird. You've been exposed, Arkansas. <laughs> Here's a map that shows the fattest countries in the whole world. Dark red is more obese. Look at us. There we go. I mean, there's probably everywhere. Though, Americans were yeah. overweight. We're the 12th fattest nation overall. Only a bunch of small South Pacific nations have a greater population of overweight citizens. Look at this. Going back to 1960, only 13% of U.S. adults were overweight. Hmm. We need to diet for sure, people. Some McDonald's. <laughs> Vietnam's the skinniest nation overall. Only 2% are overweight there. Oh, wow. But China has like zero overweight people too. Africa really? Africa hardly hmm. has any. Except the rich African countries. They're all fat. That makes sense. I want to move to the country at the top. To Greenland? <laughs> Yeah, no one's fat there. I'd fit right in. Yeah, you go there, Karen. Go to Greenland, please. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, this is neat. Here's an interactive one that shows how fast Walmart grew beginning in 1962. It was all oh. in Arkansas. Oh, every There's year more than 11,000 Walmarts now. Look at it. It's like a germ spreading wow. all over the country. Ah, run. It's Walmart. <laughs> JK Walmart. Don't sue me. Look how many of those. How many Walmarts That's does crazy. one nation need anyways? My God, my God. Oh Roll back. Okay, so wow. we're the most overweight wow. nation on earth. We're also number one in prisons per capita. It's not even really close. We have 4% of the world's population, but we have 22% of the world's prisoners. At least we did. Seems like we're letting everybody out now. One day it's going to look like this, and we're all going to die. <laughs> Russia locks a lot Whoa. of people up too. Oh my gosh. North Korea doesn't have a lot of people locked up. I guess they just probably don't mess England around. England doesn't there. have a lot of people. Don't this country down yeah, here, Thailand, unless we're no data. Apparently, mm. don't mess around either. Don't go to Thailand and cause I think we are mischief. no data because. I guess they have some really strict drug laws, so you can go to prison for a long time. Because India is a different color to us. Yeah, I think it looks like we are no data, is isn't it? We're no data. I thought we lost. I think a lot of people prisoners. get locked up. Yeah. <laughs> just for having a joint on you. They even have the death penalty for drugs in Thailand? What the? Wow. What the? That's not COVID spreading. The orange color is where half the country's wealth is, and the blue is the other half. Half the country's wealth is in these few little orange areas. Wow. Like, this one's Minneapolis, and, mm -hmm. and I'm guessing that one is St. Louis. That's Charlotte, and that looks like Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has money? There's a big gap between the rich and poor in this country, and that gap is widening. The middle class is shrinking at an alarming rate. In it's the same in every country as well, isn't it? Sad. thirds of the total U.S. income. Now the upper class has more money and the poor are even poorer. Oh. Here's a visual representation of how the rich keep getting richer in America, people. Ooh, this map shows how big Alaska really is. If you added all of Alaska up, it would take up all these pink states. Wow. Wow. So if you're in Maine or you're in Florida or in Tennessee, you'd still be in Alaska. That's Just about it. Wow. That is mad. So impressive, Alaska. So impressive. Huge. So impressive. Guess which country gives <laughs> new moms no paid leave? We don't. And so do a handful of other countries, some of which oh, you may not. Good job, we're getting paid leave. <laughs> we won't be able to live off that, oh would God, we? America is like one of the only countries. I imagine it depends which job you're in. Some jobs will give paid leave, but it, it's not compulsory, I, I think. I think so you look at England is. and that dark blue bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You picked the right country to birth. Yeah. <laughs> not have even heard of before. Why don't we have a paid leave system for new moms here in the USA? I mean, 82% of people here say they want it. And it's pretty clear in a lot of the hoods I drive through, these kids need their parents around as much as they can get. Biden said he wanted to spend more than $200 billion to give people 12 weeks of paid maternity or paternity leave. It hasn't happened yet. Apparently, after World War II, Europe started the whole paid maternity leave thing because they needed parents to have lots of kids because their country got demolished in the war. Well, makes and sense. here, we didn't have to worry about that. Plus, we couldn't be a communist nation back then, so we just never got around to paying moms to stay home with their newborns. Okay. Plus, get this. This is messed up. Back in the 50s and 60s, there was an idea that if you had paid leave, it would encourage the wrong people to reproduce, meaning blacks. No. I wish my mom had paid leave. Juan, I've seen your family. We'd be broke. What? This is fun. 
This Wait, what? shows how Americans... Is that important he's got a lot of people in his family? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Be harsh. I'm going to say, I think he's like tooting on the edge of it, though, isn't he? Address a group of people. It's y'all in the South. Yep. For most of us, it's you guys. Why isn't there a use for Pennsylvania? Isn't that a thing? Here's a U.S. map that shows where no one lives. The green is where nobody lives. A lot of the West is still wild, mister. In Alaska, there's hardly anybody. I'm sure a lot of people yeah, are looking this map going, I'm mm -hmm. heading for green. Is there a house in there for me? <laughs> green sounds good right about now, doesn't it? Peaceful, quiet, cheap, no BS. I hear you, peeps. There's a reason it's green, though. No one wants to live there. There's a look at the happiest states in the country. Or at least people who say they're happy. A lot oh, of the wow. Mountain West and Upper Midwest says they're happy. This whole area down here says they are not happy. Those also happen to be most of the poorest states, too. Is that Utah that's number Mexico. one? Yeah, I guess yeah, yeah, Utah. But to be fair, that would make sense for these ones, because I feel like in the middle, it's not too cold. It's not too hot. You've got some beautiful greenery and scenery, haven't you? Very outdoors oh nature. Oh my god, it's just crossed my mind. What? That people are, like in Utah and like, don't have beach. Yeah. <laughs> Some people have probably never seen the beach. No, yeah, I imagine they may have gone. They've seen it on movies, I guess. Yeah, but like in real in life. In real life, potentially there will be people in Utah who haven't seen the beach. Oh, let's switch for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm better bored for of the beach. <laughs> Joe's in America. If you don't have a lot of money, you aren't happy, and that's just sad. Florida. Why is Texas so happy? Yeah, why is Florida so red? Yeah, I thought Florida okay, would so be So here's higher. where all the McDonald's are in the U.S. Ooh, no here you go. So fat. There's 14,000 McDonald's here. 14,000. It said that every American is no further than 115 miles from a McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Where's that other map <laughs> we saw earlier? Yep, there we are. But it's okay. We're happy, right? Yeah, you, you want McDonald's. You know what gerrymandering is, don't you? Where lawmakers redraw voting maps to favor one party. Okay. Well, check out the 4th District in Chicago. This weird-shaped pink district is all Latinos. That weirdly drawn map will have one representative in Congress who will likely be Latino. Okay. If that doesn't drive home how corrupt and stacked the political system is in America, then I don't know how to better show it. This one's very insightful. Someone did some Google mining to see what odd search terms appeared from different states. This is basically a look at what each state's interested what in by looking at their Should popular you search terms. <laughs> how often? You just took a dial How to one. become a YouTuber. Oh, there you go. Grilled cheese, ask me. Ooh, grilled cheese. Delete Facebook. Please. How to move to Canada. <laughs> Are you fed up with the US, I'm guessing? <laughs> Having trouble sleeping? I how to sleep stress. at work, I get it. How to sleep at work, yeah, that makes sense. McDonald's, I get it. Quit smoking, fair play. And uh, where's McDonald's? There. Oh, McDonald's value menu. <laughs> a barbecue down in the south. Like, where can I get a barbecue? I need one. Build a chicken um, coop. <laughs> some good ones in there. I guess they did it during the Wait, Hawaii. Of pizza, pizza delivery. delivery. <laughs> 2020. A lot of it involves alcohol. New Mexico wants to day drink. Minnesota wants boxed wine. Wisconsin wants Bloody Marys. Tennessee wants to drink at Cracker Barrel. Mississippi wants vodka pops. In Wyoming, they want to stop drinking, I guess. West Virginia wants to stop smoking. That's not Wyoming, Michigan people make a lot of... I thought that was Wyoming. That is Wyoming. Yeah, but he said Colorado. He said to stop drinking. I go with catching them out. This is Wait, Wyoming, what? isn't it? Yeah. And he said in Wyoming, they want to know how to stop drinking. Oh, yeah, that's not... That's yeah, Colorado. you see, I'm alert. I know, I know my states on the map. Dr. Pepper shortage. Where's that? <laughs> Next to it in Utah. Oh, yeah, you do. Everyone's the happiest state. Oh, Dr. Pepper. Everyone's just panicking about a shortage of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> pot brownies, apparently. Down in Louisiana, they want to know how often they should bathe. Okay, that's just gross. In Maine, they're building a bunch of chicken coops. Okay. What's up with Florida? Are they lazy or what? Delete I'd have Facebook. To sleep at work. Idaho has had enough of Facebook. <laughs> so have I, Idaho. So have I. Here's the most recognizable brand in each state. <laughs> Look at Apple Florida. Makes sense. Texas is known for Dr. Pepper. Wow. I thought it would be Wrangler or something. Starbucks in Washington makes sense. Harley Davidson in Wisconsin. Coors in Colorado. Budweiser in Missouri. Walmart in Arkansas. Okay, that makes okay. Sense. Yeah. What is Sinclair? Garmin's on that. I didn't AOL expect still that. Exist? Why is Virginia AOL? South Carolina is known for Denny's. Do they make washing machines in Iowa or something? Where's Carhartt? I don't get it. Wait, Saks, Alabama? Oh shit, Saks Fifth Avenue was founded in Birmingham, Alabama. Wow. Who knew? 
Okay, so here's all the countries that have the death penalty. Of course, we're on here. All of Europe and Canada oh, and Mexico don't have the death penalty. I don't know why we even have it anymore. Clearly, it doesn't work. Look around. Our criminals aren't afraid to die. This map shows where there's more single people based on gender. Apparently, there's way single more single people. men in single. California oh, and way more single women. <laughs> oh, said single people. I thought it was like his new gender figure. So I was like, single people? What? <laughs> single people. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> women in the Northeast. Is that because there's a lot of gay people in California and guys in the Northeast are total lame wads? I don't know. Just speculating, people. Comment he's below and let me know what you think. Here's the point. He tries to be edgy, doesn't he? He, he, he does. just got a little bit edgy. But I kind of, kind of get it though, because if there's more single, if there's a lot more single men, then where are the women? Very true. But then there may be more men on the planet. Yeah, makes so sense. In, or in that more area. Men on. But no, it's just. Um, but he, he likes. He kind beat of, around the bush he, a little bit. He does. But not be around the bush. No, he take. kind of is borderline offensive, but not offensive. If you get know what I mean. Yeah. Is like, is some people would take it as offensive. Definitely. I mean, if if he, if we don't really agree with it and we don't really need to comment on it, we we'll just ignore it. But yeah. But let us know what you guys think in the comments below on that. About He's this brave. <laughs> snow day. Here we can see the amount of snow it takes to cancel school by county. Any snow in the, in the far south, north, it takes like, like two feet of snow before they Jersey. cancel school. <laughs> Down Even in the most of the whole of south, any snow cancels school. They probably never cancel school for snow in Alaska. Oh, yes. They wouldn't have school. Here's what people Google the most. Why is a state so... Why is California so expensive? Everybody okay. wants to know. Oh my god, is that why is Everybody Louisiana racist? Why is Utah so Mormon? Why There's is... a lot, isn't there? Racist and poor and... Yeah. People are wow. so... You know, I suppose if it is like oh that, though, god. you then... What's, what's the top island? Where? Why, oh, is that... Um, that's Maine, isn't it? Why is Maine so white? <laughs> yeah, well, what? what? To be fair, didn't he say that um, like New Hampshire was so like 90, 90 I've percent. heard of Utah being the most Mormon state. Where? Utah. Oh, there. <laughs> Why is, Why is Massachusetts fit? so smart? I didn't know they were that smart. Why is Louisiana so racist? <laughs> oh, man. Why is Arkansas so poor? Why is Ohio so important? Ohio's important. Okay. Why is North Carolina so cheap? <laughs> That's a question I ask every day, because this is a great state. It's not going to be so cheap for too much longer, peeps. Ooh, this is crazy. Here's a map of every tornado oh, in the last geez. 50 years. Clearly, wow. they don't like mountains. There's a lot in there. I hate tornadoes. I mean, they're fun to see from across a cornfield, but not so fun at night when you're home alone. Yeah, it's scary, aren't they? The yeah. probability of upward mobility in America. In the middle of the country, you have a 35% chance of upward mobility. That's still not a lot. In the deep south, what's, you what's have a 4%. Upward mobility? Am I, I, being, am I being an idiot here? Oh, rising to another income level. Oh, okay, got it. So you're so, able to go up the ladder, I guess. Go up more opportunities and stuff like that. Okay, that makes sense. Chance of upward mobility. Well, that sucks. Mm. There's different ways of talking based on where you live in the U.S. Of course, there's certain dialects and accents. This map shows how people say the word crayon. Crayon. Or crayon. Or crayon. crayon. You do people not in say New York that. are like, crayon. Crayon. Have you got a crayon? Have you got a crayon? I don't know how to say it. Crayon. Have you got a crayon? Oh, passes that crayon. To be fair, we barely. <laughs> say, to be fair, we probably say passing that pencil or passing that coloring pencil. No, I'd say if it's a crayon, it's a crayon. Oh, now you're saying crayon. I don't know what so I'm what saying. Are you saying. I don't know. Crayon. Like Crayola. Wisconsin people are like crayon. I always say crayon. Yeah, I say crayon. That's what I said. Says crayon, I guess. You were being weird at first. <laughs> That's so what on I said. Craigslist, there's this message board called Missed Connections. You can post an anonymous note that's like, "I saw you walking by at the Independence Mall. You were wearing a pink coat." I wanted to talk to you so badly, but I had my wife with me. Oh, that's, Let's that's, talk. that's creepy. So you can basically Don't do that, stop the person, I guess, if they respond. It's really weird. It's for people who are too scared to just walk right up and talk to somebody, and they make up some excuse that they were distracted or the timing wasn't right. Do people use like this? this? We shared a smile at the checkout. Yours was so sweet. After checkout, our trucks were parked almost side by side. I said to myself, I hope she looks back when she's leaving. You did, and you smiled again. I hope you see this. I was the blue-eyed guy in the camo vest. People use this, this one. so desperate. Here's another one. Eye contact. Kept bumping into each other. <laughs> this is just so stocky and weird. So anyway, somebody I've never called heard of Craigslist weird. to get a database map of the most common places in each state where somebody said they had a missed connection. McDonald's. Here's the map. Yep. Okay, apparently in California, Walmart. most people stalk each other at the 24-hour fitness. <laughs> Look at all the Walmarts. It's like 20 states. So many Walmarts. I fell in love with you at Walmart. 
I saw it at the Walmart self-check. You had trouble with the scanner. We should date. <laughs> so dumb. Look at McDonald's. He's just going in on McDonald's people. Right? In New York, it's on the subway. In Hawaii, it's at the beach. This is just so stalkery. It's Anyways, look at your state and see where people are stalking one another. Is it stalkery, though? I guess I to be hairdressing on that. I don't know if stalkery is a word, though, is it? Because you're saying... if. Yeah, if you're not stalking someone, if you're just meeting someone and saying it, it's not a big deal. But Yeah, all you're doing is saying online, saying, look, I, I saw this person today, look like this, I'd really like to go on a date, I don't have your number, no way to contact you. If you want to go on a, a date, weird, contact though. me. That is a bit weird. I, 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 it's that weird I guess it's probably no different to Tinder. Yeah, it's just, if you're too scared to go in person... You yeah, but just... if you've just seen somebody at, at a Walmart yeah. and you want to go on a date with them... yeah. You only know what they look like. You don't know anything else. Why yeah, would she, you want to do that? So you're not stalking them, but how you don't know anything else about anyone before you go on a date with them anyway, do you? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It seems a little bit, a little bit odd. Don't get me wrong, not for me. I, I, I well, didn't no, know it existed. You are in a relationship. No, but even if I wasn't, not for me. I didn't know it existed, probably would never do it. Like, I just came up to you and, and asked you for your number. But I, some people are shy, aren't they? And I don't know if it's stalkerish because you're it's just not putting stalkerish. it out there. It's not you know stalkerish. What I, mean? I mean, if someone else wants to. It's a to... tiny bit odd. Yeah. The thing is. Any... I would never use it. Anyone could just reply and go, yeah, that was me. Well, exactly. In the... I mean, it wouldn't be there. But you'd never know. You could be talking to If they looked a little bit similar, you wouldn't know, would you? Mm. But it's, it's interesting. And also, like, if you get a reply, like, a few days later, yeah. it could be. You could be thinking that's the person and it's not. Because you might forget what they look like. If you yeah. Met them yeah, you might have forgot what they look like. Yeah. No, that's a good point. At home? What's going on in Indiana? I saw you at home. At home. <laughs> it's just so weird. I don't Why want you to at go home? there. A family member, Dave. I can't believe I'm doing this, but there was a guy behind me at Wegmans today. I wanted to say something, but I chickened out. If this sounds familiar, let me know what color shirt you had on and what kind of cookies you were buying. How would he... any guy at would... Wegmans would be like, what? Yeah, how are you going to know? You, how many people have you walked past? Yeah, and how got... many people? How many men have been in there in the line buying cookies? Yeah, exactly. I could that. See, that one's very. That's too vague. Way too. And vague. Oreos. Let's do this. <laughs> Dumb. Oh my god. This is like the new gossip mag in town, but it's like totally anonymous. Lost love stories for people who can't just let it go. Do people go to Craigslist and see if somebody's looking for them? Dear Fanny Pack Girl, I saw you in the produce aisle at Kroger and I was smitten. I was the guy in the black jacket. I know you saw me. You're my grocery store. True love. <laughs> that does sound a bit weird, to be fair. I think Maybe it's weird when, when they use insecure. it for like, because she said that some people use it and say, I was my wife was with me or whatever. Yeah, I think that's oh, a bit weird. Oh, yeah, obviously that's very weird as well, yeah. Mappy, I think you're insecure. In fact, I saw a misconnection from you. I saw you at the library yesterday. I was the map with the book about geography. Oh Let's make an atlas together. <laughs> Nappy, that is so stupid. I'm gonna tell your wife. Okay, so that's a unique look at America through interesting maps. There you go. They that's were interesting. interesting, yeah. Definitely, I feel like it's potentially a little bit controversial yeah. he tries it, but... Yeah. But the maps itself The maps were itself were interesting. We got to have a discussion about yeah. them as well, and there was definitely some stuff yeah. we learned. Definitely. Smash that button if you're enjoying, guys. Smash that subscribe button as well. Hope you enjoyed all the videos we're posting for you guys. We have enjoyed them. Much of a do. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.